Yeah, Traylon, I guess just uh, where have you seen the most growth in your game, I guess, from the beginning of the season until now? And, and how ready do you feel to uh, to lead the running backs room? Um, coming in, you know, I've, um, I've always prepared, you know, to, to be prepared, you know, so. But I feel the most um, – the most improved, I say, is pass blocking, you know, my pass protection, you know, picking up on blitzes, you know, picking up on the cornerback blitzes and um, just noticing where it's coming from. Thank you. Yeah, Traylon, what was your reaction when, you know, I don't, I don't know how you found out, but maybe you can share that, like, that Rakeem wasn't going to play the, for the final two games? Um, you know, you know. I felt like, you know, he made the best decision for himself. But on um, me personally, when I when I heard the news, you know, it was it was just as, it was simple, you know, it was I just told myself, you know, it's time to step up to the plate, you know. I've been preparing for this moment for the longest and um I'll be ready most definitely. Hey. Yeah, Traylon, as far as behind you, uh uh, T.J. Hammonds and anybody else that you can you, know, you see? How do you see them developing for this game? Oh, man, T.J., you know, uh, coming back to running back, you know, he's just been working hard, you know, trying to trying to get comfortable with it again. But, um, you know, we've been at practice just working hard every day. You know, I'm helping him out, coaching him up on the new plays we got installed. And, um, you know, he's getting it together, and, he, and it's, he's picking up quickly. Tom? Trina, what have you seen out of the team uh, after the unexpected week off last week and getting back to practice uh, this week? What, what have you seen from the group? Um, from the group um, as a whole, man, we just ready to play, man. We, we, we ready to go back out there, have another game. And uh, we know this is a big one. You know, we haven't won this game in five years. And so coming into this game with the trophy on the line, man, we, we, we plan on going out there and just out physical and just out physical these guys. And, um, you know, just just beat them in, in on every aspect, you know, on every level. Offense, the offensive line, punishing the defense, um, reading the holes, you know, just gaining positive yards and uh, just, just finding a way to win. Curtis? Hey, Traylon, you guys obviously have a, a few coaches on staff that were at Missouri last year. Is that something that's given you guys a little bit of extra motivation this week as you prepare for them? Oh, most definitely, you know, with, with, with the coaching staff we have now with them, and, you know, them used to be over there in Missouri, you know, we haven't beat those guys. And, um, you know, it's a chip on our shoulder, you know, even for the coaches who were there, you know, they want to win just as bad as we do. And um, that's the goal. You know, we're going to go out there and give it our all, and, you know, we should do good. Aiden? Hey, Traylon, got to ask Felipe kind of the same question, but how – Crucial and important is it that you guys already have a rapport, you've already played a lot, you lead the team in rushing, but just the balance and I guess the coordination that you guys already have with almost a complete season under your belts together. Um, I'm sorry, may, may, you re, um, may you say that question again? Yeah, yeah, just the camaraderie that you and Felipe have when you're playing together on the field. It's the oh, fact that you've already taken so many snaps together this season. Oh man, um, I feel like when it's time for me and Felipe to stay, uh, step out there on the field this coming Saturday, you know, we'll be clicking on all on all levels. You know, um, me and uh, Felipe, we got a real good connection. We do a good job of communicating in the backfield. You know, and uh, I feel like it should be it should be smooth. It should be a smooth game for me and Felipe. Tom, uh, what prevented y'all from getting the run game going against LSU, and what has to be better in this game to, for for that to happen? Um, personally, um. If you want to be honest, man, we just had a we just had a bad game up front, um, and we just had a bad game the whole game, really, in the run game. You know, um, we saw some things that we didn't adjust, uh, uh, adjust to, and um, I feel like coming into this next game, you know, we'll do a better job of adjusting and, uh, you know, just just out physical in these guys. You know, I feel like we wasn't as physical as LSU were, and um, that was a major role in it. And uh, we just got to out-physical these guys um, this coming weekend. Nate? Just as far as, as the offensive line, what do you feel that they, they have to do that, you know, maybe they didn't do against LSU as far as getting things right? Um, I won't say – I'll say – I won't say it was nothing they didn't do. It was – I'll just say effort. You know, we got to uh, – they just got to strain more. We all got to strain more, not just them. 
you know, everybody, the, uh, the, the receivers blocking on the, on, on the perimeter, um, me blocking myself, protecting the quarterback, um, Lee Pay, you know, um, making his reads, you know, we all got to capitalize, you know, it's a whole, we a whole out there. And um, so I won't just say it was just them, but they gonna have to strain, you know, they gonna have to fight, they gonna have to fight, they gonna have to push, you know, and just be physical. You gonna have to beat them. Last one, Tom. Oh, hey, Traylon, um, I'm not sure if John Marshall even came out of the game against LSU. And I'm wondering, have you ever uh, run into Big John um, and uh, what your thoughts are about him as, uh, you know, holding down the fort basically for the D-line in that last game? Oh, man, John Marshall, man, he's, uh, he's an animal, man. He's a hell of a player. You know, I love the way he plays. And um, one thing he can do is clog that hole up. He's going to do that. And, um, but, yes, I've, I've ran into John a few times <laughs> in practice. And, uh, you know, you know he's going to hit. He, you're going to feel him. You know, you gonna, he's going to make sure you feel him every time. And um, I just love his – I just love how physical he is. And um, he's always willing to compete. You know, he's ready to compete every time. Thanks, Trey Long. You're welcome. You're welcome.